What up, y'all? DC Fago Guy. Today is April 28th. That means it has been a year since the Marvelous Missing Link Lost has come out. So it's time to do my a year later updated review. So let's go ahead and just talk about the album. How has the album changed in a year? The album is still really fucking great. I absolutely love everything about this album. I still bump it very regularly. I mean, I'm, I, I can only reiterate what I already said in my review last year, that if you are waiting for an album that brings back that wicked shit that you love from the first set of Joker cards, and if you listen to this album and it did not do that for you, then I, I still maintain that it is time for you to just give it up, stop listening, because this album has that wicked shit sound. This is a fucking Joker card through and through. I mean, I love Bang Pow Boom and I love the Mighty Death Pop, but a lot of people don't. And they're waiting for that fucking Joker card, what they would dub an actual fucking Joker card. And this album is it. And if it did not do that for you, it's time to just let it go. It's time to put ICP in your memory and just stop listening because you're not going to find it. If this album didn't do it, it's not out there. It's not going to happen. Um, you know, Track-wise, I still listen to this album straight through. The ones I may skip the most now are Explosions and, you know, maybe you should know. Sometimes the intro and the lost title track gets skipped, but the rest of it is still a really solid release. I absolutely love everything about it. The theme, everything. The story of The Marvelous Missing Link, the story of Lost. I've actually, uh, when Found came out, I gravitated towards it more, and that didn't really sway me from loving Lost as much as I do. I still love Lost a lot. I think it's important to listen to both. I feel like listening to Lost, and then as soon as that end of I See the Devil, when you get the, what have I found? You know, as soon as that little skit's done, you should be going right into the intro to Found, which, you know, it takes fucking a lot of time to listen to both albums back to back. But that, to me, is the best way to listen to The Marvelous Missing Link. So... You know, a year later, I still think it's a great album. If you have hesitated on getting it, I don't know what you're waiting for. This album is worth the pickup. So, I still rate it a very high 4 out of 5. I don't know if I rated it last year or not, but it's easily a 4 out of 5 for me. It's a great album, and I definitely recommend it if you have not picked it up. If you haven't even heard it, I really don't know what you're waiting for. Definitely go jump on that. So... There you guys go. Just a quick little updated year later review for you on the Marvelous Missing Link Lost. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time.